11.3 geometric sequences and series. So let's take a look at the geometric sequences and series, shall we? Uh, this is the last section that we are personally going to go over in 11.3. Um, the reason being is in Algebra 2 we really aren't concerned with much more than this, um, but this will also help you find out another type of series. Um, we went over the first one, which is arithmetic, and there was a formula, and now there's a geometric type, and now I can give you almost, almost every single type of little equation there to find the sequence or series of, and you can give me the equation for it. So, taking a look. Geometric sequences. It's actually the ratio of the terms, um, and the ratio of the terms it needs to be constant. So write down this formula. Um, this is a new formula for you. However, even though it is a new formula, this is the formula that we will be using for geometric sequences. So a sub 1 means, again, the first term. R stands for the ratio of terms. Okay, And n still stands for the number of terms um, in the sequence like before. And a sub n still stands for the last term. They all still stand for the same thing, except R now is the common ratio that we're talking about in the problem. So in example one, decide whether each sequence is geometric or not, and let's show you how you do this. Basically what you do is you set up a ratio. You take the first two and you divide them. So two divided by one. Then you take the second two and you divide them. Six divided by two. Then you take the next two and divide them. Twenty-four divided by six. Then you take the next two and divide them. One twenty divided by twenty-four. Well, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 24 divided by 6 is 4, 120 divided by 24 is 5. And I ask you this question, does that mean it's geometric, or is it not geometric? Well, the correct answer is no, it is not geometric. The reason it's not geometric is, look at it, they are supposed to have a common, similar ratio. They aren't all common, they aren't all similar, and they aren't all the same, right? If these were all a 2, then we'd be okay. But they aren't all a 2. So since they aren't all a 2, they aren't all the same common ratio. Therefore, it uh, isn't the same and it is not geometric. If we take a look at the next one, I take the first 2 and divide it. So 27 over 81. Then I take 9 divided by 27. Then I take 3 divided by 9. Then I take 1 divided by 3. And if you notice, each of these, when you reduce them, gives you one-third, right? One-third, 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 one-third everywhere, which means the common ratio for this sequence is one-third. So is it geometric? The correct answer is yes, it is geometric. So in example two, it says find the eighth term. Well, first I need to justify and decide, is it geometric? So I have to figure this out first. So before I can plug anything into that formula, I'm going to take the terms and divide them. Negative 12 divided by 8, negative 18 divided by negative 12, negative 27 divided by negative 18. And I realize when I divide every single one of them that they all have the common ratio of 3 over 2. So in this formula where there's an R, I'm plugging in 3 over 2. Where a sub 1 is, I plug in the first term, which is negative 8. So literally, there's the formula already. Now, the reason why I have an 8 here, I have an 8 here, so it says find the 8th term. So to find the 8th term, I take that 8 and I plug it in for n. So really, I have negative 8 uh, times 3 halves to the 7th. So when I multiply all that through, I end up with negative 2,187 over 16. As my answer. Example three, the one term of the geometric sequence is a uh, three, so what they're saying is the third term is five. They're saying the common ratio is two. Let's figure out what it is. So I know that r is two, so I can plug a two in there. And I also know that the third term is five. So notice how where there's an n, I plugged in a three, right? There's an n, there's an n, see that? Plugged in a three. So we get a sub 3 equals um, a1 r squared, because 3 minus 1 is 2. I know a sub 3 is 5, so I can put a 5 in there. And like I said, I know that r is 2. So I plugged a 2 in for r, and I plugged a uh, 5 in for a sub 3, and 2 squared is 4. So I can actually already tell you now what the first term is. I divide both sides by 4, and I figure out that the first item in the sequence is 5 over 4. 
that's the first item and I know what R is so actually I know what the whole entire um, formula is for this problem so the rule when I plug it all in is 5 over 4 and I know that R is 2 to the n minus 1 Example 4, the two terms of the geometric sequence, this is the big problem like the last one we did um, in 11.2, uh, telling that the second term is 45, telling that the fifth term is negative 12, 15. So we need to figure out what the rule is. Okay, so in order to do this, start by plugging in what I know. I know that the second term, that's why I put a 2 in for n, the second term is n. Um, so when I do this, the second term I know is 45, so plug a 45 in there and 2 minus 1 is R. All right. A sub 5 now All right, is what we're looking at. Uh, but before we do that here, what I'm doing here is I'm solving both sides for um, A sub 1, which is what we did in the last problem. The reason I'm doing this is now I know what the first term is. Even though the first term is in terms of R, I still know what it is. It's 45 divided by R. So now let's take a look at the fifth term. So I plug in a 5 for the fifth term, so that's going to be r of the fourth. And I know that the fifth term is negative 12, 15, so I plug in negative 12, 15, and a 4 right there for that. And the reason I did that is, now that I know what a sub 1 is, I can actually take that 45 over r and plug it in for a sub 1. And the reason I did that is, if you remember to our exponents, if I have r the fourth on top and r on the bottom, r minus 1, basically you subtract the exponents, right? So 4 minus 1 is 3. So I actually end up with 45r cubed on that side. So in order to solve, this is what we were talking about in chapter 7, solving with um, cubes and cube roots and all that good stuff. So in order to solve these types of equations, all I need to do is divide both sides by 45 because I need to get r by itself. So I end up with negative 27 equals r cubed. And the opposite of cubing something is the cube root. So I cube root both of these to get negative 3 as my answer. So 45, um, to figure out what a sub 1 is, um, I plug in a negative 3 there for r. And basically to solve for a, I divide both sides by negative 3. And we end up getting the first term being negative 15. So what is the actual equation? I know that r is negative 3, and I know that a sub 1 is negative 15. So I plug those terms both in. And there is your equation for the geometric sequence in the series. When we come back here, we will take a look at the sum, just like we did before. With the arithmetic, there was a sum formula. Well, for the geometric as well, there is a sum formula. So when we come back, we will discuss that formula.